This is Annabelle with InstaBiz Coach. I'm back with another video tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about the Toast POS system. We have a kiosk at our location, and Toast has been the best one and the only one that I can work with to be able to manage our dashboard, manage our rewards points, manage our employees with the payroll, and manage our inventory and scheduling. And also, the customer service is amazing. So I could chat with them, call them, same day, get my problems resolved. So this is why it's great because you want to keep your business running, and if you don't have a good, reliable POS system, then your business is running you pretty much. You need to be running your business. So let's dive in and see what this Toast POS system offers. So here are some of the options that you have as a business owner. I would recommend starting with just the countertop or the guest self-service, which is the kiosk. Okay, so let's learn more about the Toast POS system. Now, Toast only works in the United States. And you can use it for any cafes, restaurants, pop-ups, food trucks. There's a lot of different ways that which you can is the, um, sign up for that we have. You can set up a kitchen display system, which is like the back end of the kitchen. And then you can also set it up like a kiosk. So let's go through these so we can see how the point of sale system looks. Now, as a reminder, this system, you do have to pay for it, but you can pay it um, with, throughout different months. So it could be almost like a loan. And they're not that expensive. They're as expensive as, expensive as you would go to buy a regular POS system. The best thing about this system is that, that they update the system that's integrated the software for you automatically and you can also connect it automatically via wi-fi we got our box in and we connected it within an hour so it was very easy to set up and they walk you through it now another product you can use would be the handheld pos the handheld pos is great for restaurants that take orders at tables or if you work at maybe if you have a If you have a food truck, you can also use it to just have the handheld POS and give it directly to your customers. It's great for takeout as well. Now, the kitchen display system is the same kiosk or this it's the same it's the same display, but you can use it in multiple ways. So this same display, you can decide to use it as a back end or a front end. The front end is the POS where the customers pay. The back end is the kitchen where the staff sees it and where your chef sees. So this is how where your orders come in and this is where the seamless streamlined process is integrated. So once you have this set up, it's all the orders process, including from your third-party delivery services, including Grubhub, Uber Eats, and DoorDash, which is amazing. Now, my favorite part about Toast is the kiosk because we have the kiosk and our customers absolutely love it. We just look so high-tech. So this is the kiosk. That means that the customers can see the menu. They get to select what they'd like, and they check out on their own, and they complete the payment. All right, so what are the benefits of having a POS system? So the processing, the behind the scene processing, you get to see all of the... Wait, I'm recording. Thanks. Wait. So here are some of the options that you have as a business owner. I would recommend starting with just the countertop or the guest self-service, which is the kiosk. And we're going to go ahead and select the countertop. And all you have to do is sign up to contact a representative and they will set up a meeting to walk you through everything. And again, it starts at zero down because they really want to help restaurants and get them up and running. Now, as a reminder, this system, you do have to pay for it, but you can pay it um, with, throughout different months. So it could be almost like a loan. And so here you have two options. You can do the standard upfront rate, which is about 1000 for the system, or you can pay as you go, which would be zero up front and then you just pay the processing fee plus the additional every every day they'll just withdraw which is great because as your business is making money you can be paying down your system so here we can see how there's different products for different businesses again this toast system is only for restaurants in the united states but there's many different ways that you can use it so you can use it as a point of sale system which is when you walk in and you have the setup in your store you can set it up like a to-go handler system you can set it up like a kitchen display which is the back end of the kitchen and then you can also set it up like a kiosk so let's go through these so we can see how the point of sale system looks 
we paid it down less than a year because we were just it really did help increase our sales some the best thing about this system is that that they update the system that's integrated the software for you automatically and you can also connect to it automatically via wi-fi we got our box in and we connected it within an hour so it was very easy to set up and they walk you through it now another product you can use would be the handheld pos the handheld pos is great for restaurants that take orders at tables if you have a food truck you can also use it and give it directly to your customers it's great for takeout as well now the kitchen display system is the same kiosk or this it's the same it's the same display, but you can use it in multiple ways. So this same display, you can decide to use it as a back end or a front end. The front end is the POS where the customers pay. The back end is the kitchen where the staff sees it and where your chef sees. So this is how where your orders come in, and this is where the seamless streamlined process is integrated. So once you have this set up, it's all the orders process, including from your third-party delivery services, including Grubhub, Uber Eats, and DoorDash, which is amazing. Now, my favorite part about Toast is the kiosk because we have the kiosk and our customers absolutely love it. We just look so high-tech. So this is the kiosk. That means that the customers can see the menu. They get to select what they'd like, and they check out on their own, and they complete the payment. So it depends on the type of restaurant that you have, but for example, a coffee shop, what happened at my coffee shop, I have a juice bar. So what I did is I set up a kiosk because we had customers coming in and they're in and out. If you have an in and out service, you need to have a kiosk because you have morning rushes, lunch rushes, and you don't want to feel like you have to be taking every single person's order. And sometimes your customer service is not going to be the same for every single person especially if you have a rush hour so it's better to have a kiosk or have your qr code so people can order it replaces a staff pretty much because the kiosk and instead you can just have the staff making the orders fulfilling the orders and the customers still have that great experience with your business now another way toast helps you save money is by not messing up on orders so let's talk about the kds which is the kitchen display system which is the back of the house right the kitchen the most important one and where we make the most mistakes <laughs> so when you have the back kitchen display you get all of your orders in and out usually less than 10 minutes now if you're a sit-down restaurant those order times might be 30 to 45 minutes so you can change those change those and customize customize them to your restaurant needs your kitchen staff can also select the ones that already are completed and then fulfilled and if there's any issue with the orders you can go right back into that system and see what is needed it also has the extra chef inventory system but best of all everything is under one system now you also have your dashboard app your manager app where you could see every one of the sales that happens that day i love that so let's log in to our dashboard so you can see how to set up your back end of your restaurant and how that looks. Okay, so here's a sample restaurant that we have. And what you can see here is you can see the total sales for the day. So we're going to click on the sales summary. So as you can see, it takes you into report. Report is the main area that you're going to be in. And it's usually just going to be the sales summary. So it'll show you exactly how much you sold on this one day. So let's go to... So we're going to go to today. And here's where you can see all of your sales. You can also see any discounts that were collected or any promo codes that were utilized, any tips. So everything is broken down here. Now, let me go ahead and show you how the menu setup looks, okay? So this is the very first step. You're gonna go in here and we're gonna go ahead and set up a menu. So when you go and you edit your menu, this is our main menu for the juice bar. Here, we have our favorites, our proteins, our bagels and bites bowls shot so you have your categories now i want to change the category title for this one i want to change this to say food food okay 
and this one I just wanted to say coffee. So it's very simple to just go in here and edit your categories. And then you can just quickly see it reflected on your front end. So how, how your customers are going to see it. So you always have to make sure you hit publish because if you don't publish, then it's not going to showcase. So we have, we're going to go into, our, we're going to go into our favorites. Martina, can you put the volume down, please? A little bit. Or can you guys go over there? I'm recording. Sarah, I'm recording. Please. Okay, so here we're under the favorites category, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a whole new item. These are items that are already, these are items that are, are these are items that are already in our system, but I'm going to show you how to add a brand new item. So what it's going to do is it's going to, you're going to select add, and here I'm just going to put coffee. You're going to put the price, let's put $2, and then you're going to hit save. Okay, great. Remember, it's not published yet, so we're going to go ahead and click on the coffee. Right now, all of this is empty. You can skip the POS name. You can skip the kitchen name unless you have multiple kitchens. I'm going to skip all of this down to here. Now, where you have modifiers, modifiers are the categories of add-ons that you can select. So if you wanted to, you could start a new modifier group. I already have some modifiers, so I'm going to add an existing group, and I'm going to select coffee milk so here I have the milk and then I want sweetener okay so these are my modifier groups you can always go in and edit them after and then I'm gonna skip this here as well and you're just gonna go down here's where you can show if it's in stock or out of stock if you're out of stock then you just go in here and click it and it'll remove it from your menu instantly all of your menus across all systems Here's where you put a description, so I'll just put hot, freshly brewed coffee, example, 10 calories, and then you just upload an image, image here, and that's it. So then we're going to go ahead and save it, publish. And now we go back to favorites, and there's our coffee. Okay, great. Now, to see your menu, your live menu, so here you will see all the menu items, and they will show up right away. So now that you can see how your menu looks, you can also set up your hours. And now let's say that you want to close for the day. If it's a snow day, if it's a holiday, you just come on here, close everything, and it shuts down the entire system for you. So this is why having an all-in-one POS management system really helps business owners keep track of where their spending is going, manage their time better, and improve their business, right? Make more sales, focus more on the marketing side, focus more on expanding and not having to worry so much on how to process payments, right? So let's move on to takeout and delivery. If you already have your own delivery service, you can add it onto here or you can select creating your own delivery service. Toast partners with DoorDash Drive, so the orders connect seamlessly to your Toast POS. That's another great part of the Toast system. And if you have third-party systems like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, you can connect them. I think it's $15 a month, but it's so worth it because you can connect them on here. And if you make a menu update, it'll update all of the systems. And I also wanted to cover a little bit the reward system that they have. So Toast within here has its own system. So you can go ahead and start creating welcome emails, a loyalty program. You can select offers if you want to do like $5 off their first order. There's a lot of different things that you can mess around with here. And if you want to book a consultation with me or one of our other advisors, you can at www.instabizcoach.com. We'll gladly walk you through any technical issues that you have or any questions with the POS system. So there you have it. You saw how to work the Toast POS backend system. You saw how it looks to your customers. And I'm sure you're ready to get your system up and running because that's how excited I was when I first heard about Toast. So if you're ready to launch your Toast POS system with your business, 
go ahead and click the link in the comments below so that you can go ahead and get that referral link and get the best customer service. Make sure to follow instabizcoach.com and share along with your other entrepreneur friends and business owners.